It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. <laughs> hey, hi, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. I want to put everybody on notice. Make me mad, I'm going to slap the hell out of you. <laughs> you never know when it's coming. Well. I'm just going to walk across the stage and slap you. You keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Oh. Well, if she wasn't bald. <laughs> oh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Christy Lee on assignment. Uh, she's uh, having her uh, uvula scraped. Uh, Jessica <laughs> Halsman is here. Hello. Uh, so she's there. having her uvula lowered. Lowered. Is it being lowered? Well, you have to, well any, <laughs> Who's that going to help? Even the, <laughs> well, even the most I'll basic <laughs> surgeon knows you got to you got to scrape it, then you lower it. Oh, sure. sorry. I There's Matt Godwin. That. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hey. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Hey, man. I'm Chick McGee at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. And here's Tom. Doesn't uvula sound like one of the moons of... <laughs> Saturn or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. the, the uvula is uh, looking good today. A lot of interesting things happening in the I world. I bet there's a guy who's turned on by a uvula. Oh, sure. Oh, yes. Look at a little dangly thing. My oh, goodness. yeah. Look how it hangs back there. Oh, oh yeah. What, you need a light for that? Well, yeah. you got to <laughs> yeah, get in oh, there. Yeah, you you got to want go. it. Hey, what's your sign and say, ah. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Now, um, <laughs> uh, we uh, have... Uh, the Oscars are actually making news for the first time in a long time. Not because of the awards themselves, but uh, interestingly enough, uh, I guess uh, Will Smith punched... Chris Rock right there in the face. It was more of a Jawan Howard slap. Right? More of a slap. And by the way, you got to stop. You're adjusting your sugar like poker chips oh, right sorry. now. Relax over there. I can hear you. <laughs> Boy, what, the Rolodex. Uh, uh, Chris Rock can take a hit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was he, a I, think he, I think he really got tagged. I mean, it, yeah, it, it was enough. Like he did. It might yeah. have knocked me out. Yeah. It was a Jawan Howard adjacent, I would say. I'd, it I'd was say, kind of a wind-up. I'd say. Open hand. Yeah. I, I don't think he saw that coming. But, uh, of course not. No, no. Next year they're going to host the Oscars together. <laughs> it's kind of well. Fun. The rumor is the pay, pay per view. Uh, he uh, Will Will Smith uh, violated uh, the uh, personal conduct policy of the Academy. He might have his uh, Oscar taken away. Oh, they're not going to take That's it. That's what I'm hearing. Well, they, they'd get some publicity. No one's seen half the movies anyway. Did he mention? Uh, did he happen to mention it in his speech? What he had done? Or he apologized, yeah. but he did not apologize to Chris Rock. And he did kind of this weird, like it was like divine intervention. Like he was like King Richard protected his daughters. I'm here <laughs> yes. to protect. Right. God, uh -huh. is, God yeah. has allowed me in this path. It was very yeah. wild. Love Basically. will make you do crazy things. He said. Yeah. yeah. It's right. like he nebulized the audience. Oh, I'm in black. Like you forgot everything that happened because it's such emotional speech. Yeah, what happened if you didn't uh, see it when I didn't, uh, but I watched it this morning. Uh, it, according to uh, the Associated Press, Will Smith shocked audiences after getting on stage, and this says slapping Chris Rock during the Academy Awards ceremony. He uh, took offense to Chris Rock making a G.I. Jane joke about um, Jada Pickett Smith, his wife. Now, first of all, G.I. Jane, what, 90-something? Something like that, yeah. Pretty dated and I guess the joke was that that was Demi Moore, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. And she did she have a shaved head? Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And okay. So. And I don't know if Chris Rock knows that uh, Jada has uh, alopecia. I guess that she's battling. Uh, she went on Instagram a couple weeks ago and said, "I'm going to make friends with alopecia." Or yeah, but yeah, but for, even forgetting that. Uh, it's a dated reference. Yeah, and I'm the king of the dated reference, certainly. But that, a dated reference to a movie that nobody saw. Oh, people saw it back then. No, that was a. Demi Moore was hot. She, yeah. Very people are aware I will of say, oh, Chris Rock was killing. He did a Denzel joke. It was out of the park. And then he did a joke about Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz. Out of the park. And then I think he kind of riffs. Josh, as a comic, you can see it in his eyes. He gets a little juicy. And he goes, if they liked that, here's a little bit more of this. Huh. And I think that they did not want a little more of that. Well, and then if you watch it closely, you see uh, Will Smith laughing. When yeah, he, he made, laughed. When he again. cracks the joke about Jada... But then you can see Will out of his, <laughs> Will is, uh, uh, Jada's sitting on his left side. He could see out of the corner of his eye seeing Jada. Uh-oh, she's really pissed. <laughs> yeah. I sh probably shouldn't be laughing. I should go up there and do something. I yeah. would have thought J Jada's no shrinking violet. Yeah, I right. I would have thought she would have. Uh... Yeah. She did the eye roll. Yeah, that was he, enough. And he did get the Academy Award for his role in King Richard. Mm -hmm. Then he slapped Chris Rock. So technically that was a dick slap. 
<laughs> I don't. I don't think we can allow it. Was, no, well, uh, somebody my, smacked up. My, well, that's my a, reflex is to not allow it. Yeah, right, right. Sure. But that's a, that's my reflex a lot of times. Yeah. So yeah. you know, you, you know who killed last night was uh, I'm and I'm I could care less. Amy Schumer was funny last night. I was good. shocked. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was really good. It's, uh, yeah, like the Spider-Man joke they did. She, she said, you know, we're saluting women, and, of course, they make uh, Venus and Serena and uh, how great a tennis players they were, so naturally they make a movie about their father. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was really, really, it was good. It was, I, I, I enjoyed myself. The well, jokes good. were funny. I'm going back. Oh, good. Um, good. I'll have to see a couple of the movies. I've only seen, I think, one or two. What ended up winning Best Picture? Coda. 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 I saw Coda Saturday. It is lovely. It's, it's great. not pretentious. It's a lot of fun. If you like music, we'll get a kick out of it. It really is. Really cool. I saw Belfast. It almost made me stop watching movies for the rest of my life. Chick, I, I stopped I'm, after 15 minutes. I'm still on the fence. I couldn't do it. But you oh, I, you gave it a fair shake, did you? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I stuck in there for the whole I, thing. You did? I, I saw the music number at the end, and you know how I feel about music numbers in movies like that. You remember the Tesla movie where Ethan Hawke breaks into <laughs> everybody wants to rule the world for no reason. So, so is it like a, they're at a bar and someone does karaoke or just like they break the reality of the whole thing and everyone starts singing and dancing kind of thing? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say uh, there they might have been at a funeral and this started. Okay. I, that uh, tells the, you all you need uh, to know. This is the first time I guess a movie has won that was a streamed movie. Yes. Yeah. So get ready. That's going to be the new thing. Uh, the Very big deal, actually. That it, it debuted on uh, what was that? That was that Apple TV. That mm -hmm. one. Or? Yeah, okay. it's, it's a fun movie. Okay. Um, you know the head of streaming over there at Apple TV is uh, IP Freely. Is it? If, is that <laughs> yeah, well, that makes sense. Is sure. that yeah. streaming? Is that streaming. IP, yeah. IP Freely. And he Gentle. married. He, he got married to. Uh, <laughs> Did you know that he got married to Rusty Bedspring? I did Whoa. not. I did not hear that. Who's that? Match made in heaven. Big, <laughs> big redhead woman, right? Yeah, Rusty. Yeah. Yeah. She's no, 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 no. It's a guy. Oh, it's a guy. All right. Well, you know, you know, love is love. Love is love. Sure. Hey, whatever you're right. into is okay with me. That's right. Uh, coming up in sports. Uh, wait a second. I, I we got a final four, people. Uh, my my. We got a final four. I'm trying to find the uh, let's see clutch cargo stuff. I'm trying to find my shoe in <laughs> picks that you made on Friday. Um, I'm back to being Thursday. the smartest man in the world again. Oh yeah, is that thing over? Yeah. <laughs> I was 0 2 first time for the basketball. Now I'm, I was 2 and so it's uh, 2 and 2 for so far. Okay. That's not too bad. All right. Well, we'll, yeah, flipping uh, we'll find out more about that. <laughs> the darlings of the uh, men's basketball tournament out. Yeah, they're gone. Where to now, St. Peter? Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> <laughs> the Elton John reference. Jim. That's right. <laughs> Where to now, St. Peter? Chick, St. Peter was playing Purdue, and that's my grandma's team. Uh, uh, and I was uh, having a little fun. I took Purdue. I took St. Peter oh, Plus. Really? I took I took every version of the bet, and I lost every version oh, of the bet. I won $125. Look really? at you. Really? I was like, well, at least if Purdue loses, I'll win some money. Yeah, it was brutal. Stupid. What was the spread on that one? It was uh, I think St. Peter's, Peter's plus got, twelve and a half. I was going to say yeah, that 13, hits. Yeah, that one hits. Wow. Yeah, I hope you had the. I hope, I hope you took the points. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, well, elsewhere in sports, anything? Uh, uh well, we got the uh, final fours. They're all blue bloods. Uh, that means that they've won the uh, multiple times the national championship. Uh, also. Isn't it about time we covered badminton and from the sports desk? You damn right it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, also, when, ah. whenever badminton is brought up, what do they always say? Shuttlecock. Yes. <laughs> the shuttlecock. The shuttlecock the shuttle is the fastest shuttle moving cock. thing in sports. You're right? not saying it right. Shuttlecock. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pronounce it correct. Should I ask my alter ego? <laughs> what? Sexy, yes, time, of sexy time, Tom. Oh. <laughs> sexy time. <laughs> no, my, my, my alter ego. Hey, Sexy Time Tom, what do they uh, call the thing in, uh, <laughs> you know, that like, birdie thing in uh, badminton? The shuttlecock. Oh. <laughs> that, that was a lot better than I thought it was. It be. was. He nailed it. That was Whoa. Good. Oh, you know, Damn right. Now, see, because you know who RBG is? Uh, the lady? I'm sorry. Yes, the yes, woman. of course. The, yes, the uh, lady? The late great the lady. Supreme Court Justice, and they called her Notorious <laughs> RBG. Yes, indeed. They call me Notorious TBG, <laughs> Biggie Cox. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. COX. I forgot about the alias. <laughs> <laughs> Some people can't handle it. Just uh, it's not. the alias? <laughs> Stuck in Munich, Germany. Enjoy your Spetzel. We are on day six with right COVID. Now. Big, I'm big news last night. There was a uh, a fist fight at the.
at the Oscars, so they're well, finally getting some publicity. A fracas. Is that what it's called? A fracas? A, a, fracas. a ruckus? A, a ruckus or a, a fracas? A fracas? No, no. First of all, Chris Rock did not throw a punch. It right. was just one slap, and that, that's like a dust-up. You mean Will Smith? Who, who did I say? Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Chris Rock took it. Yeah, Chris, Chris, Rock, Rock, Chris Rock made a joke. Look, it was a legit hit. Oh, yeah. yeah it open, was a slap, had a but nice yes. sound to it. Open yeah. palm, yeah. Will Smith, yeah. Was a, Will Smith was played, a, played a great Ali, yes, yeah. Yeah. in the in that movie. So. I mean, it's a bummer. He was, he was, was upset a, about a joke. Chris Rock was a total pro. He Class act it off from top to bottom. Incredible. He yeah. was rattled, but he still handled it. I wanted to cry. I felt uncomfortable. I like, hated it. Buddy. It was mm. terrible. I only saw a clip this morning, and I so couldn't negative, stand negative. it. Horrible. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, felt, oh, 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 Tom just labels it, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, it's uh, Tony for witness protection. Oh, hey, Tony. Hey, Tony, how are you? Yeah. Calling from a payphone. Yeah. Went to uh, one of those Oscar after parties last night. Quite the celebration. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Guess what they were serving? What? Slapjacks. Uh, what, I got to spell it out for you? <laughs> <laughs> and you never think there's uh, such a thing as too much side move, and then William Shatner starts flashing it. And, uh, you realize every day's a gift. <laughs> every day is a gift. <laughs> <laughs> and of all the hot chicks say, I get stuck with that mousy face, but be Cruz. <laughs> yeah. But don't judge. She goes out, she works hard, she earns. <laughs> she does. And up close, Sylvester Stallone, Sly looks like he swapped heads with my Uncle June's wrinkled heads. <laughs> 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 I bet so, man. And even cleaned up that punk Leonardo DiCaprio smells like bologna and cigarettes. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. And when he gets drunk, Steve Buscemi, he'll let anyone punch him in the cojones for five large. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Who knew? And yeah, Lady Gaga, classy broad. <laughs> but if she suspects you of cheating the crap, she'll cut you with a stray razor. Oh, I bet. Yeah, she's oh, and Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, he's so short. If Will Smith tried to slap him, he'd have to take a knee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Will, if you're listening, let's do it again next year. But, uh, instead of Chris Rock, let's have Mike Tyson host. Well, my friend from the old country, Furio. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, gotta go. I got a Zoom session with Dr. Melfi. Take a knee. Okay, okay, all right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Zoom with Dr. Uh, uh, we have. Oh, can you grab that? Hell yeah! Hello, Bob and Tom show. <laughs> hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Hey, Donnie, how are you? Did you see him Oscars last night? Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess. Uh, w what Will Smith punched Chris Rock in the face? Slaps. He slapped him. Everybody's talking about it. He slaps Chris Rock, and then he wins a trophy and gives a speech about being a vessel for love and forgiveness. <laughs> I mean, the only one I seen turn the other cheek was Chris Rock on stage. Yeah. I swear to God. All over a stupid joke. I'll tell you what the joke is. Did, didn't Will Smith play Ali? Yeah. yeah. Well, he slaps like Ali, too. Alicia Keys. I swear to God. <laughs> they rocked his face. You'd think after playing Richard Williams for the last year, he'd have a better forehand. <laughs> hey, Will, I want to see you try it next year when Steven Seagal or Jason Mimosa hosts. <laughs> You'll be walking a green mile back to your seat. I'm going to go. Uh, thank you, Donnie. <laughs> Ordinarily, we celebrate birthdays at the end of the show, uh, but uh, today we'll make an exception there because, uh, Tim, I believe we're going to uh, do the famous Tim Cavanaugh birthday segment. I should remind everybody. Oh, that's that, what we're going to do? Uh, this weekend, <laughs> April 1st yes. and 2nd, it'll be Mason City, Illinois' famous Mason City Limits Comedy Club. Special guest, Dr. Gonzo, celebrating the 17th anniversary of the Comedy Club. Once again, Mason City, Illinois, Tim Cavanaugh live in person. Wonderful. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And that's it's one this, of my favorite rooms to work. Is that this weekend, Tim? It's this weekend, April Fool's weekend, April first. So and it, it is an actual show. This is a real thing. It's not a joke. It's a real thing, right? I, I'll, yeah. I'll be wearing the same lipstick. And uh, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. If I'm wearing the same blue shirt, then I've had some laundry problems this week. Well, uh, Tim, I have the music ready. If you'd like to go here, I'm ready to go. Hey, everybody. It's time once again for Tim Cavanaugh's Cavalcade of Celebrity Birthdays. I'm comedian Tim Cavanaugh. Yeah. Turning 23 this month is Michael Jackson's daughter, Paris Jackson. Oh. She has a very successful modeling career because, like her father, she comes with a variety of cute, interchangeable noses <laughs> that she can switch for any occasion. Sure. Needs something a little more nostrily? Hmm. I got one. <laughs> or a screwed up one like Laura Dern? I got one of those, too. <laughs> okay. 
celebrating birthday number 31 is actress and singer Jamie Lynn Spears. Oh. That's Britney's sister. Uh, Jamie Lynn has uh, officially been named America's third favorite Spears, finishing behind Britney and Broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Which reminds me of the song... Britney and Broccoli <laughs> are spears everybody <laughs> likes to see. <laughs> Jamie Lynn is in tears. She barely beat out Pickle Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> it's acapella. Uh, for those of you who home, that's two jokes in a row with a Michael Jackson reference. That's right. Yeah. So I don't know how long I can keep this up. Um, Illusionist David Blaine is 49 this month. According to the site Famous Birthdays, which of course is my Bible, he is, quote, a magician and endurance artist whose stunts include being frozen in a block of ice and starving, mm. unquote. I want to know, when did starving come to be considered a stunt? <laughs> And is that news made it to Somalia where they could rightfully change their motto to stunt capital of the world? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's it's all, all illusionists there. That's killer. Uh, all illusionists. Yeah. No clown college there. Aeronautical engineer Werner von Braun was born this month in oh. 1912. He's called the father of modern rocketry. What I didn't know is that he had a great sense of humor. This was his favorite joke. An astrophysicist walks into a bar. The beautiful buxom blonde bartender says, what'll you have? And he says, sex on the beach. And she says, no, but I'll French kiss you for a barrel of synthetic cyclopropane. Oh, oh. Oh, those astrophysics jokes, they always kill. Oh, yeah. Uh, See, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to get his jokes. You know, it's, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> Thank you very much. It reminds you of a bar scene, probably, in your experience, but I will keep moving on. <laughs> hey, turning 95 next month is Britain's Queen Elizabeth. Her son, Prince Charles, is planning an elaborate retirement party for her <laughs> in bet. his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary cartoonist Joseph Barbera would have celebrated a birthday this week. He created wonderful characters, including Yogi Bear and his little friend Boo Boo, who I always felt sorry for. I mean, it's bad enough that your parents have you by accident, but to name you Boo Boo, <laughs> that, that's harsh. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse. He could have been named after his mother's failed birth control, like SpongeBob. <laughs> Thank you, Willie. That was a nice close for Willie clapping. That's good. Oh, I love the sponge. Uh, actor Jack Nicholson will celebrate birthday number 85 this month. Wow. He won an Oscar for his performance in the movie As Good As It Gets. Shortly after my wife's 87-year-old mother moved in with us, we decided to have a stay-at-home movie night, just the three of us. I suggested As Good As It Gets. My wife had never seen it, and she said, okay, as long as there are no awkward parts. <laughs> I said, honey, it's a nice movie. It's rated PG-13. It'll be fine. But then we get to that one scene where Jack Nicholson, says, Jack Nicholson says to the maid, where did you learn to talk like that? In some Panama City sailor want a hump hump bar? <laughs> yeah. My wife rolled her eyes and gave me a dirty look. I said, honey, it's PG-13, parental guidance. Your parent is sitting right there. If she didn't want you to hear this, She'd tell you to turn it off. <laughs> She's an old lady. <laughs> that's our mom. It's yeah. PG-13. Yeah. yeah. Jessica, yeah. Jessica, that's the most anyone's ever laughed at that joke. <laughs> You're very funny. Thank you very much. That is so nice of you. Hey, the legendary singer Marvin Gaye should have been 83 this week. He was shot and killed by his father, Marvin Gaye Sr., which really screwed up the numbers for gay and gay violence that year. <laughs> 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 Sure did. <laughs> it did. Yeah. Skewed the shame. statistics a bit. Yeah, was, <laughs> yeah it did. Marvin's it skewed last them. hit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> With a Turning bullet. 49. Thank you very much. Uh, it's also Alec Baldwin's birthday this week, but oh. I wasn't going to mention him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Oh. In the same sentence as the bullet. Okay. Uh, oh, good. Turning 40. <laughs> I wasn't going to do that, but then it happened. <laughs> turning 49 this week is actor Adrian Brody, who won an Oscar for his performance in the Roman Polanski film The Pianist. The movie was rated R, with theaters explicitly stating no one under the age of 17 should be allowed to see Roman Polanski's Pianist. <laughs> Haven't we made it clear, Roman? <laughs> that goes for children of all ages. I don't care if you did go to club college. <laughs> Here's an interesting one. Samuel F. B. Morse, the man who invented the telegraph, was born this month back in 1791. Oh. His wife was Sarah Elizabeth Griswold. Oh, hello. Wow. Now, I can't say for sure that she's a relative of Tom's, but she was the first person to do a morning drive telegraph show, <laughs> dot and dash in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we play all the hits. SOS, stop. Rainy days and May days always get me down. <laughs> Rainy days and Keep May. it tuned. <laughs> dot and dash in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good show. Yeah. While on the subject, two of my favorite radio personalities, Dr. Demento and Tom Griswold, celebrate April birthdays. Oh. In a classic example of you can't tell a person by his name, <laughs> Dr. Demento is far more mentally healthy than Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Proof? <laughs> when Dr. Demento recently visited Chicago, I took him to an excellent seafood restaurant. Not surprisingly, he ordered the roly-poly fish heads and ate them up yum. Sure. Now, the last time Tom and I had lunch, he invited me to Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> Tom was in a hurry, so to save time, we just ate lunch in the parking lot. <laughs> well, Tom is a fast eater because the first time I looked up from my burger, his car was gone. <laughs> he was parked just two spaces down from me. I've been ditched before, but never like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, we weren't even in the same car. Yeah, oh, that's, you that's how, <laughs> that's how bad that lunch was. <laughs> I had something to do. I, uh, <laughs> you did. A happy belated 42nd birthday goes out to Paris Hilton, who has an amazing work ethic. Even though she's filthy rich, she's still out there working. I saw a notice on Travelocity that said, spend three nights in Paris for just $9.99. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that's a <laughs> heck of a deal. And finally, as the music wraps up, this is like perfect. 69 years ago this week, a little baby was born with the big name Rick Ample Ass. <laughs> as a young man, Rick struggled to find a place in show business until his agent told him that his name, Rick Ample Ass, was holding him back. Back. So he changed his name, and sure enough, he got the break he needed, launching the career of a great comedic answer, actor, a great comedic actor, now known as Rick Moranis. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> well, that wraps up yeah. another edition of Tim Cavanaugh's Cavalcade of Celebrity Birthdays. <laughs> Till next time, remember, who needs a calendar when you've got a Cavanaugh? Uh, Rick Ample asked. Very nice. nice. Tim Cavanaugh live and in person. Mason City, Illinois. His return to Mason City Limits with Dr. Gonzo as a special, yes. uh, special opening act. The 17th anniversary of the club. Thank you, Tim. Glad you're doing well. Yes. Thanks, yeah, you well, guys. Glad, Thanks yeah. for all the good wishes. Very I appreciate handsome. It. I'm feeling good. Good. Okay. Get, get outside the sun. Love you, man. Get a little color there. Lips okay, are very love pink. all of you guys. Like, like the pink. Yes. Lips. See you, Timmy. On, on Tim. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Tim had a, a rough rough spot there, but he's doing great uh, with his health, thanks to some great doctors. Go to his website, find out exactly what happened.